Hello everybody, Dr. Troy Dugowitz here. Here we are, our first call of 2019 for the all-team training. The all-team training is coming at you in a pre-recorded message for many reasons that you would have seen in an email. Uh, so here's what we're gonna talk about. There's a couple things to talk about today and it's really important as we kind of set the scope for the month of January and moving forward. And so there's a course correction or a refocus that some of you are gonna have to do. Uh, there's just taking the action that you've already been taking that some of you are gonna have to do. I don't know where you stand on this, but this video is going to talk about that today. Then number two, we're gonna talk about some actions to take with clients and or patients that are gonna help to propel you and move you forward to have a very, very strong January. Let's come out of the gates really strong here. So let's first and foremost talk about just a course correction and focus. So this is the first Thursday of the month. Many of you were closed on Tuesday, which was New Year's Day. Some of you were closed on Monday, which means this becomes another short week. Christmas week was short, and this week becomes short. So the next question becomes, how good were you at your core four? How good were you with your stacking? How good were you at working on targets if you were working on targets, or even the target assignment that I gave to everybody? So that is a, I mean, that is a big ass continuum, folks. I mean, some of you are on the other end of the continuum where it's like you nailed them and like here it is, second day of 2019 and you're already working on them. Others of you, you're kind of in the middle. You're, I don't like saying it this way, but you're kind of sort of working on them, but you're not because you're not really sure if you should take action yet. You're sure you're kind of like paralyzed by thinking, you know, analysis by paralysis, those sorts of things are going on. And there's some of you who are just like missing the boat. You didn't do anything for core four. You didn't do any stacking. You're going, my life's pretty good. I didn't have to do anything. Look at this. This shit doesn't work. So um, wherever you're at on the continuum, it's time to reload. It's time to reload. Even if you're a person up here, reload. What does reload mean for you up here? Just make sure that you're not checking boxes. Like, ha, 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 I've been doing this. Make sure you're not checking boxes over here. If you're a person over here, it's reload, man. It is reload. It's make sure I'm doing this stuff over the course of the weekend. And your reloading focus is for January 7th. So each day throughout the course of what's remaining for this week, what actions can I take daily to get myself up and focused and ready as I move forward into the first full week of the month, which is January 7th being that first Monday. So the refocus is what? My core four and my stacks. Where am I from a core four stacking perspective? If you've done nothing from a core four perspective, you gotta reload that sucker first. Like do something. Do something in each category. Do something for body, do something for being, do something for balance, do something for business in each category. Get your four points. I don't care if it's if it takes you 15 minutes, like it's an abbreviated one, but you're just trying to get momentum going again. And you guys know, as I talk about like riding a bike or riding a scooter, it's about getting the momentum going again. And so if you found that that scooter stopped over the holidays, Let's just get a couple of pushes in there and let's get the scooter moving. If you're still kind of coasting, then you better up the game and you better find out what is it that I can do to up my game on my core four as I move forward. Then from a stacking perspective, well, where are you in stacks? If you fell off track over the holidays, it's time to re-engage. So you're gonna stack through the course of the rest of the week and go into Monday the 7th and say, here's how I wanna end the next week. You're being proactive, guys. It's a matter of take this energy and look at Monday and how can I make sure that I am full go come Monday? Now, the people who are up here, chances are, you're like, screw wait until Monday, I'm gonna do it now. That's my preference. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna get the work done now. I'm gonna create momentum now. Why? Because it's my future. It's my success. It's my four Bs, body, being, balance, business. It's not yours. So my success depends on me doing the work. If you wanna prolong doing the work, that's on you. That is on you. I understand, I have a family too, okay? Just to be clear with everybody, I have a family too. I have work to do too. I have all these Christmas decorations to take down, but I like to leave them up longer than the average person, so that's not really a big priority right now. But I get it, guys, it's really easy, and gals, it's really easy to get caught up in this headspace game of you don't understand, you don't understand, you don't understand. To which I say, go stack it. To which I say, do the work. To which I say, the time that you spend saying why you can't do something, you could put into doing something. And you'll get to where you wanna go. Who do you have to become to be that person that you've written about in your targets for 2019? Who do you have to become? Because that person is a bigger person, it's a bigger version of who you are. It's an even better version of who you are today. Who do you have to become to get there? And is filling your head with all the reasons why you can't get there going to get you to the mountaintop of the new version of you in 2019? I can answer the question for you. No, it won't. So core four and stack, first place to look for to 
reload. Then we look at our 90-day outcomes. So looking at 90-day outcomes is if you haven't finished the assignment that was laid out to you, you got to dive back in and you got to finish the assignment. And then what you have to do is whether you have the call, whether you got the bonus call or not, here's the deal. There's so much more to do that can be done in a bonus call. Like seriously, what has to be done is you have to take, here's my 90-day targets. Here's my end of year. And I have to look at my 90 day and say, without a doubt, is everything I'm doing in body going to take me to where I want to go at the end of the year? Check. Yes. Cool. Then I look at being. Is where I want to go in the next 90 days for being going to take me to where I want to go by the end of the year? If yes, check. I have to have these documents out. You guys think I was being a pain in the ass, asking to have all these papers and everything? You have to have the documents out. You have to have the 90 day document out. You have to have the fruit document out from the future. And you have to look and make sure that this matches up with where you want to go through all four of those categories. Then I pull my strategy map out and I make sure when I'm looking at this week being the week of the seventh. Okay. Now some of us have already started working on our targets and started taking action. If you haven't, that's okay. Make sure come Monday, you're already taking action. If we need to course correct along the way, that's fine. But make sure you're taking action on targets come Monday, January 7th. Now, what do I do is when I sit down on Sunday, and I plan my week, I look at my map, I look at my strategy map, and I make sure that the things that are in my strategy map are on my schedule. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's what we sing around here. Holy crap, right? Everything that's on my strategy map should be in the schedule, which means I am more likely to get this stuff done, which moves me towards my targets at the end of 90 days, and those 90-day targets move me towards what? Where I wanna be at the end of the year. I know I was a stickler on this assignment, but this assignment takes you exactly to where you need to be right now. You can be positioned to knock the, the cover off the ball for the first quarter of 2019. You gotta have your outcomes. If you don't have them done, you gotta get them done. You gotta work on them and get them done. And so even if this means we're going back and forth over the course of the next couple of weeks, guess what? You should still have something that's done that you're working on. So if we have to course correct, we can, but at least the course correction probably still has you taking action. Do not sit and wait and say, well, I'll wait till I talk to him on my call and then we'll see where I need to go. Do not do that. Do this now. This is your life, your success. How bad do you want it? If you want it bad enough, you're gonna do the work and you're gonna get, you're gonna get it done. So when we hop on the phone next week, we're all back on the phone next week. When we hop on next week, you're able to say to me, this, 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 but I'm questioning this one. Can we talk about it? We can talk about that one area and break it down so that you're still rolling and you're still moving. It is easier to stay up than to catch up. I don't mean like ketchup that you eat. It's easier to stay up than to catch up. So let's make sure you're doing the work here. Now, that is from the perspective of just reloading and refocusing and just rebooting your system for a kick-ass January. Then we have part two of this, and part two of this is for your clients, for your patients, no matter where it is that you are in terms of business, part two of this is to do the same thing with your clients, the same thing with your patients. Reboot the system, so I have to reconnect with them. Many of you, we've been going back and forth. Almost all of you that have done the assignment, we've gone back and forth on on the assignment. So we've been in contact over the course of the holiday. For some of you, if I wasn't in contact, you should have heard from me. I believe I reached out to almost everybody. I don't even know. I have to go take a look. I believe I've reached out to almost everybody and been able to have some conversations. What's going on? I sent an email to all of you, letting me have a feedback on your biggest victory, your challenge over the course of the holidays. That's a way to connect with you, whether we're on the phone or not. That is a reconnecting. You need to reconnect with patients. There are patients who haven't been there. There are clients who you haven't talked to. You need to reconnect with them. Then you have to have, for the docs, you have to have what? The recall. So you gotta have your staff going through and doing recalls, and that should be done for at least the next 10 days. So first full week of the month, last two days of this week, and a couple days into the second full week of the month. Recalls, getting people back on track. I'm looking back on December and saying, okay, who are the people that missed? Who are the people that fell off track over the month of December? I'm gonna get on the phone and I'm gonna call these people in the month of January. And we're going to get them rolling. We're going to get them back and re-engaged in our practice. The third part of this puzzle, folks, 
that the third? No, that's the fourth part of this puzzle. I have to write down the number four by that. The fourth part of this puzzle is your marketing calendar. For those of you who showed up at the program in October, you know that we worked on a marketing calendar. And in that marketing calendar, you should already be implementing what you had for the month of January. And in the next 10 to 14 days, you're going to start working on the month of February. For those of you who weren't there, you should have already created a marketing calendar. And if you haven't, you need to let us know. And if you have, then you need to be making sure you're implementing said marketing calendar. If you need eyes on it, email me, CC Dr. Nick, and we'll make sure that we can collaborate on this. But this is something that needs to be taken care of. This is what you're doing for marketing within your practice and even the things that you want to do outside of your practice. But if you ignore it now, then you're also going to end up ignoring February. So you got to dive into it now make sure you're implementing what you said you were going to do for January. If you haven't, last two days of this week, just reload and you can easily jump back on stuff the 7th of January and still push a January promo. It's going to be a lot of extra work, but it's worth it to do it, whatever you're going to do for marketing in your practice. But then, middle of the month, 15th of January, you better be looking at the month of February and saying, okay, what needs to be done here for us to have a rock in February in terms of our events and our calendars and things that we want to work on. So... That's a lot of stuff. I feel like I talked really fast there. So here's the deal, folks. Let's do a review here. Number one, core four and stacks. Get back on track. Simple as anything. Get back on track when you hit January 7th so those things are rolling again. And have a desired outcome. Here's where I want to be by the end of the week with the core four and with my stack. Number two, 90-day outcomes. Get to work on this and get finished. I want so desperately for all of you to nail all four categories, but I can't want it more than you. And with the new format that we've created, there is no reason, like none, that any person should not hit their targets in 2019. This format, although a pain in the ass, although tough, although stacked a shitload of work on me over the holidays, man, the format though is worth it. It's worth it because of the clarity that it gives you and identifying where it is that you wanna go in, in, the, in the next quarter and by the end of the year. So if you haven't done it, get on the freaking videos. If you have done it, then make sure that we're clear on things so you can get moving. And if it means waiting until we're on the phone next week, at least start taking action on the things that you wrote down. And obviously, the sidebar there is that we have to be able to present this to your team so that they're aware from a business standpoint where you want to take that practice in the next 90 days. So let's make sure we're having that conversation as well. Then we looked at the office or your clients and your patients and saying, we've got to reconnect, find a way to reconnect with people. That's going to mean implementing your recall system in your practice, recalling people that maybe fell off track in the month of December and just getting people back in and on the schedule, whether it's today or it's the next week, week and a half. I'm going to say go about 10 days on doing this recall, just making sure you're caught up with everybody and you've actually had a conversation with them. If you're leaving messages and you're not getting anything from them, then you're going to go to resort number two, which might be a text and or an email. I'm not crazy about those things, but sometimes you just have to resort to that. Always go for the voice first. Always go for the personal personalization side of that first. And then number four, what do we say? We said make sure you're looking at your marketing calendar, whatever it is that you're doing for your business in the course of January and February, start looking at J start looking at February on the 15th of January. Take a look at January. If you have not put your January marketing stuff into effect, you better get it done by January 7th. So that's all I've got for you here, folks. This is something that literally everybody here needs to do. Everybody needs to focus on is going to give you a reboot. There's a reason I wanted to do this now and send it out <laughs> because I wanted you to have it. Some of you are going to watch this on Thursday morning. Some of you are going to watch this at lunch on Thursday. Some of you are going to watch it the night before. That's why you're getting this now. I just couldn't wait to do this. We need to roll up our sleeves. We need to get, a, get to work. Why? Because you, your family, and your life, lives, and businesses depend on it. They depend on the actions that you're willing to take. So let's roll up our sleeves and take those actions. Now, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Happy New Year. Happy 2019. Let's make this the best year yet. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.